The mapping of mountain landslide areas continues, even after the state cut the funding. Two former state geologists started their own company to do the work. News 13's Rex Hodge joins us from the Western News Center with this special report. What is their motivation, Rex? Jennifer Bauer and Stephen Femler say not politics. They say identifying landslide prone areas, especially out here in our western counties, is just too important. They started Appalachian Landslide Consultants to help protect property and to save lives. A huge swath of Highway 441 in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park washed away in an instant. A woman's garage in Canton pried up. Her home nearly wiped out twice. An amusement park, Ghost Town in the Sky, left teetering on the side of a mountain. And a busy stretch of Interstate 40 smashed and shut down for months. Landslides, they come in all shapes and sizes. Last year, whenever it was raining so much, um, I kind of was worried about going to bed at night because I didn't know if I was going to wake up in my neighbor's house. <laughs> Tiffany Huskisson lives off Wildwood Drive in Silva, the threat of landslides, her constant companion. With last year's rain, she says it started moving, a sound her best friends could hear and feel. My dogs could. They would wake up. They would wake me up barking. Her pictures show just how close the slide has come to her house. We've moved it probably 10 feet back from like the bottom. It's like a a losing battle. Stephen and I feel really passionately about making people aware of landslide hazards in western North Carolina. Jennifer Bauer and Stephen Femmler run Appalachian Landslide Consultants. They say 48 people in western North Carolina have died in landslides in the past hundred years and they know of more than 3,400 landslide locations in the area. They started their business to help people like Tiffany Huskisson find inexpensive ways to lessen the danger. Water, usually the culprit. It has to be allowed to drain without sitting there. This acts as the lubricant. With drain pipes, um, horizontal drains, if possible, and just remove any standing water so that it doesn't even have the chance to, to seep into the ground. Bauer and Femmler do site evaluations like this, which help pay the bills, but also mapping of landslide hazards, work both were doing for the state before funding was cut three years ago. Some lawmakers concerned the mapping was a backdoor to more regulation. I know there were politics involved, and unfortunately the, the science and the public safety took the hit for it. So that is why we got in, got this started. We're not looking at it that way. Thanks to some grant money, landslide mapping is taking place right now in Haywood in Jackson counties. One of the builders on our planning board said he would like that information so he knows as he's building if he has to take additional precautions. Our goal is an online map viewer. Bauer and Femmler say outreach and education to residents are key to continuing their work and obtaining funding. The first thing that they could do is contact their county commissioners and let them know they support this type of information and that they would be interested in having it funded. Tiffany Huskisson says their help is invaluable. I was happy that they contacted me. And if I'm giving people something, information they can use to improve their lives, that makes me feel even better. Bauer and Femmler are finishing their work in Haywood and Jackson counties, but they say they need more funding to map additional western counties. Reporting live tonight from the Western News Center, Rex Hodge, News 13.